Here's your challenge for today. It's okay if you don't get through it. I just wanted you to try it and see where you wind up. So I'm going to have you make a new letter file in Illustrator. And I'm going to have you file place the um, little clip art file that I've got downloaded. Um, or sorry, that I've got linked on um, the calendar today. And I'm going to have you download it and then just go ahead and place it. And then drag that into Illustrator. And when you put something in Illustrator, sorry, it's blocked here. Remember, we're going to hit the embed button to make sure that that picture stays embedded in Illustrator. Then your blue X goes away. What I'm going to have you do is go over to layers. This is kind of similar to what we did in um, the Vormiter. And I'm going to have you lock this layer. And I'm going to have you make a new layer. And that's the layer that you're going to draw on. Now your challenge is, I want you to try to reproduce a monster-ish type creature. I don't want you to reproduce these guys exactly. I just want you to be inspired by them. And the two ways you can do this are by using the tablet. So you can take the tablet and the things that we've learned in class and you can completely draw and render. Remember, I'm not going to do him exactly. I'm going to make him a little bit same, a little bit different. He's going to have crazier hair. And I'm going to take that line I just made and I'm going to change the color so we can see it. And then I'm going to fill it. So you can use the tablet and completely draw everything. So I'm going to change this again and I'm going to make his mouth black. Oops. I did not deselect. So anyway, you can like freehand draw um, by rendering directly over top of what I should just pull my swatches out. Mm. Mm. Well, anyway, drawing over top, you know, making it a little bit different, of course. And oh, select it. See, this is all totally new with the tablet. It's been a while. So just by stacking up these shapes and building that way, and that way you can just, you know, keep using the brush tool. Or the other thing you can do, and this is, again, this is completely choice. I just want you guys playing around, is use shapes and kind of what we've learned in class with changing and altering shapes. So you can build shapes. You can make them kind of like whatever shape you want here. So this could be his body. And I'm going to make a big eyeball. So I'm just using vectors for this one. Whoops. Cancel. And so I'm literally just using the tools that we've used before in class just to build up my monster. Now, if you want to like add on there and do both, so I'm going to switch back here to my brush and I'm going to maybe like render some legs on him. So if you want to do a little of both, that's fine too. I just want to see what you guys make. So the goal is when you're done to have a little collection of maybe like at the least two little monsters that you've created kind of based off of these guys with use your brush and or your vectors and just play around and see what you make. Just save that file as an Illustrator file and I'll see what you got when I get back. Good luck.